This program is part of the Cosmic Potato Podcast Network. For more shows like this, visit our website at cosmicpotatonetwork.com. Watching television, watching television. Watching television, watching television. I need all the image, I need all the sound. I know the info right into my mind. Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial by Pilot. This is the show where we judge an entire series of television and the work of hundreds on one episode. I'm Bill Lynch. I'm Casey Lynch. I'm Mike Olsvay. Whoa. Whoa, where's Elizabeth? Elizabeth couldn't be here this week. Oh man, good. But I wanted to keep like the level of host the same. So like I figured two of you like are almost equal to her insight and charm together. And fair fair enough. I know. I know that's ridiculous. You're not even close, but <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> I enjoy uh Billy's smooth podcast voice he puts on. Yeah, oh yeah, he doesn't sound like this normally. No. Yeah, <laughs> no, he, 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 there you go. There, there it he is. He puts on like a radio announcer, like smooth voice. <laughs> welcome hey, back to Hey everybody, and welcome to Smooth <laughs> Jazz Hour. <laughs> Trial by Pilot. Oh yeah. I thought you guys would be interested in the show we're reviewing today. Mm-hmm. Invincible. Yeah. Sure. On Amazon Prime. A new animated series. Uh, Mike and I love superheroes. By Robert Kirkman, or he's one of the creators of the comic. Yeah. Yep. I actually don't know. He's probably a, an EP or something on the show. I'm sure. They, yeah, yeah, they always are. Uh, famously penned and uh, helped produce the Walking Dead TV show. Mm. Yes. Neither of you guys still watch that, do you? No. No. Okay. Yeah. No. Hot garbage. <laughs> yeah. Hot garbage. <laughs> actually, I I saw like, you know, I was like watching TV or something and, you know, one of the commercials came on. I'm like, I kind of want to like check it out again, but I also don't care enough to like even get close to trying to figure out like what's happened so like in the past five or six years i think it's probably been five or six years for me too yeah 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 it's it's got i stopped watching like season two yeah oh that long ago yeah so i i was a huge fan of the comic i love the comic and it got so far away from what the comic was that i was like i just can't watch this oh yeah you're always like a big nerd about comic tv shows (laughs) like i was like "Eh, i i liked it when it was a comic (laughs) like i guess like liking the comic so much i can't separate like the show being The Walking Dead from the comic The I get Walking it. Dead. I get it. If they named it something different, if they named it like Kooky Zombie Show, I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'd oh, watch man. it. But that like, sounds good. It's actually, that's actually called Zomboat. Yeah. yeah. Zomboat. I haven't watched Zomboat yet. What? I need to watch it. It's so oh my good. Gosh. So this has some big voice actors. Yeah, it, it does. Um, Elizabeth actually messaged me about this show because I was like, oh, I'm going to have Mike and Casey over to record when, when, uh, when they're off. Mm. And she's like, oh, and she sent me the link to this one. She's like, I was like, yeah, that's the one we're going to do. She's like, oh, man, because like, actually, she was just complaining that she doesn't want to do any more superhero yeah. shows. Uh, but it's like it's voiced by like Sandra O, oh, J.K. Simmons, mm-hmm. Stephen Yoon, yeah. Gillian Jacobs, like a bunch of other people, too. Yeah. So she missed out. I, I don't think she would have enjoyed it anyway. No, <laughs> she just likes the voice actors. That's not really. A... I was surprised it was 47 minutes. This yeah, I was expecting I... it to be half an hour just because that's what most animated shows are. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I, I thought. Like, OK, it'll probably be 30 minutes. But then something in my head was like, no, it'll be like an hour long show. Yeah. Which, you know, 47 minutes is basically an hour. It's also a weekly release. Yep. Yeah. Every whatever. That's Friday. annoying. And it, it fakes you out because like the title card for the show comes like three quarters of the way through the <laughs> yeah. show. And I was like, oh, the episode's over. That's and then I it thought. was like, nope, it's still going. Wait. And I was like, oh, oh, I turned it off right after the title card yeah no did you uh, there was another no. uh, there, there was like well, another like 20 minutes i had to when the title card came up i'm like oh i guess it's over and then it, it kept going i'm like you know i don't normally watch stuff on amazon so i'm like oh is this like the next episode i better check so i got up to check i'm like oh no it's still like 10 minutes left they i don't want to talk about it yet but they did the title card pretty quickly to make sure you did not miss the fucking last quarter yeah, yeah, of the yeah, show because yeah, yeah. it would have been pretty, pretty bad yeah um so let's let's talk about the plot real quick and then we'll talk about that last uh last scene yeah uh, so we start with a pair of security guards chatting outside the White House. Mm. One's talking about how he's going to miss the superhero evasion training because he's taking his stepson to London. Yep. And he gets really sappy about like, you know, my step my stepson has really overcome his demons. Now our relationship is better than ever. And so at first I was waiting for this guy to just get killed right away. Well, yeah. I, as soon as, so I, I watched it with my girlfriend and as we're watching it, I was like, this guy's going to die. I was like, it's a, like <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. like, here we go. He's dying. Like, yeah. he they're be? setting them all up. He's going to die. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then when he didn't get killed right away, I thought maybe he is the protagonist's stepfather. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's of um, some importance, right? He's right, right. <laughs> you know, just from watching the previews, I knew it was like about a young kid like coming into his own and finding his superhero powers. Yeah. Uh, it turns out neither of those things are true. Mm-hmm. No, not at all. Um, 
But as they're there, they're, they are attacked by two like huge hulking blue monster guys yeah. who show up from the underground. They're impervious to bullets until the stepdad shoots one of them in the eye and yeah, takes out cool. his eye. Yep. And so he's about to be killed, but then the Guardians of the Globe show up, yeah. which is a team of seven superheroes. Most of them are like clearly modeled after people we oh, all yeah. know. Oh, oh, and it's great because like their version of Aquaman is a fish. Like oh, he's an actual fish so man. Cool. Uh, so you had that. You that's, had, like, that's like my first note is I just put fish guy exclamation. And all he does is shoot water. Yeah. 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 You had uh, War Woman. <laughs> War Woman. Yeah. That's that's their knockoff of Wonder Woman. Uh -huh. um, Red Rush. Yeah, Red, Red Rush, Rush, which is the Flash. Uh -huh. uh, you have a guy who kind of looks like Wolverine, oh, but yeah. he has oh, like yeah. the powers of like almost like Superman. Yeah, uh, some alien-looking guy that had like Mister Fantastic stretchy powers. You, you had uh, you you had Green Man from Always Sunny in oh, Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I read that Green Man. <laughs> oh, yes. It just looked like Green Man, like a yeah. green morph. Suit. I'm just like, oh, it's, it's Green Man. Yeah. <laughs> so this team is trading blows with these blue guys, and like you know they're both holding their own. No one's getting the upper hand. But then Omni Man shows up, who's mm -hmm. like Superman, basically. Superman, but he has a mustache. But he has an awesome. <laughs> it mustache. did not get edited out of this cut. <laughs> uh. And so once they finish evacuating the White House, they beat down on these two villains and they and they blow them up and, and beat yeah, them. yeah. I for most of this episode, I wasn't sure like is this a kid show? I mean, later on you realize it's not really. Yeah, but you know it's kind of like a kid show. Like they don't show them like killing these blue guys. They kind of just beat them up and then pow, punch them into space basically. Yeah, and then it cuts to like the kid reading a comic. So I'm like, is this just a, like a kid show or like you know a young or like a young teen show or something? Yeah. Um, cause it, it totally could have been until, like, yeah, I mean, there's a little, maybe there's a little bit of blood after the monster gets his eye shot out, but like, you don't really oh, yeah. see anyone getting hurt, yeah. Now, yeah. you know? And like the, the feeling of the show was almost like, especially like with, with the, the, the son being like the main character yeah. almost feels like, like Batman beyond like mm. with young Batman with like Bruce Wayne being like his like mentor. Like, yeah. yeah. It almost feels that way. Like going into it. Yeah. Like it feels like like the cartoon like superhero shows that we grew up with, mm. like watching. Yeah, I got I got like an X Men animated series, like especially Five, just from yeah. like the like the visual, like it looked yes. like that sort of cartoon. Yeah, totally. Uh, then we meet Mark, our seventeen year old protagonist. Mm. We find out the security guard is not his stepdad. Mm. Uh, his dad is Omni Man, yeah. and his mother is voiced by Sandra O. Oh. Yeah. She she has no superpowers, just a regular human. And he gets home, Omni-Man gets home, and him and his mom are getting all smoochy, and they're planning to go to Berlin. And so Mark's like whiny, like, I want to go to Berlin. He's like, no, you have to go to school. Yeah. You can go once your powers kick in. And mom's and the mom, like, elbows him and is like, don't, don't get his hopes up. Yeah. And, like, the dad's face, like, I don't know. He's worried yeah. about something. Uh, then at school, he tries to stop some meathead dude from harassing this girl and gets punched into the fetal position. Mm. And then the girl comes up behind this kid and kicks him in the dick. Yeah, yeah. just like okay. full out, like just. But then he holds his crotch and runs away, which like, nah, 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 nah you're going down. <laughs> red red players uh, have not been. Uh... Can I point out that the name of the high school is Reginald Val Johnson High? Is it? Which is fantastic. <laughs> I didn't know that. But it's that. Reginald Val Johnson High School. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's great. Oh yeah, the when it like cuts from the battle to the kid, like he's like reading a comic on the toilet. He's reading a comic called Seance Dog. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, that is a show I want to watch. And, like, he even brings up, like, later on, he's like, say, uh, like, he's yeah. like, of course I need to go to my job. Like, Seance Dog comes out twice a month now. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. this is, like, a big comic, Seance Dog. Yeah. <laughs> when there's actual superheroes that fly yeah, around, Seance, Seance Dog, Dog. Is, the, is the big one. His dad is, like, the biggest superhero. He's reading about a dog that... I don't know how young kids can, like, keep up with comics, because they're, like, six bucks now. Dude, it's crazy. Some crazy. of them are weekly. Like, you got yeah. 25 bucks to spend on comics every month? Yeah. Yeah, like rich motherfuckers. When I used to go, like I would go, like occasionally to, like, oh, what's new? Like, you know, I'll, I'll read one run of a comic for a little while, and the guys who would like come there and like get like a stack of like thirty come there comic. Yeah, <laughs> okay, relax. <laughs> the guys who would go there to Jo, like, <laughs> no, it'd be like you know, like fifty year old dudes who would like come in and they would just get like a stack of like. It's yeah. like three hundred dollars of comics. Like, yeah, it's yeah. What yeah. are you and doing? Like, oh, here's your weekly stack I've set aside for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that night, Mark is at work at some burger place, and he's tossing some garbage bags into the dumpster. Yeah, and, like he like has to really like work and like heave the first one in, mm. and the second one he goes to heave, and he just throws it into space. Yeah, yeah. would you not just start throwing more things into space <laughs> if, like, if you figured out that you could do that? Like, I would grab yeah. the other garbage bag out, throw that into space. But yeah, I thought we were gonna get him like a. a Clip, you know, a thing of him just like running around, just like picking stuff up and like throwing it. Cause, like, you know, yeah. that's what happens when like a kid gets like powers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, sure. So he tells his parents excitedly that night, and Omni Man asks, like, Are you sure? You're sure your powers are kicking in? Yeah. 
that made me question like is that actually his kid like did he have a worry that oh maybe. he wasn't part superhero but yeah. that turns out not to be true as well as, yeah. as far as we know yeah because yeah, he's part the omni-man is an alien yes he's like a superman came from his planet yeah so he claims Mm, true. I don't. Claim. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I. I don't know. It being just going into it, knowing like it's a Robert Kirkman thing. Like, I, there's going to be some crazy twists. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, there is. Well, <laughs> well yeah. There, there is. But uh, so Mark remembers his dad telling him about his home planet. Yeah. And like how their species are like super evolved. They have all these superpowers and they help other species. So like he decided to be the guardian of Earth. Mm. Met his mother. And he's talking to Mark, like, as a little kid. I don't know how, how old he was, 10 or 9 or something. Yeah. And he's like, you know, one day you're going to be able to, to fly. And then Mark, like, wakes up at 1 o'clock in the morning and goes out flying. But he ends up going way too high, passes out in the atmosphere, and, like, crashes down to Earth. Yeah. Yep. But he's, he's mostly fine. Yeah. He's, like, it tired sure and sore. It was, like, a dream or not. Because he crashes into Earth, and then it, like, cuts to him, like, waking up at 6. That says, like, he's got, like, an alarm on his phone that says, like, flying lessons with Dad. Yeah. I'm like, so did he crash? Was that just inconsequential? <laughs> no, like, but they show like dark circles under his yeah. eyes like he'd been up. Yeah. So they go out with dad and he crashes again. Mm-hmm. And then they start to spar a little bit. And Omni-Man <laughs> just fucking punches him in the chest. Like yeah. as hard as he can. Just yeah. like <laughs> rams him in the chest. <laughs> and so Mark just like goes down like. <gasps> and Mark's yeah. like, dad, you punched me. And he's like, yeah. Like I said I was gonna. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Omni van like Omni Man blows up on Mark's mom. Quick, so I'm getting the Omni van. <laughs> Omni van. Omni, get, the Om- get my Dodge Omni. Wouldn't that be great if he couldn't fly and he drove around the Omni van instead? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had like superpowers, but because like all the superheroes in this had like they could all basically fly. They could all do something fly. to fly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it would just be great if like the kid had like superpowers except he couldn't fly. <laughs> except for uh... so like, all the superheroes would like show up and then he would just like pull up in the car and be like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> Who was it? Darkwing, their yeah. their version of Batman. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He has some cool gadgets. Yeah. But then Mark overhears his parents talking downstairs and Omni-Man apologizes for blowing up on the mom and says, you know, he just got his power so late. I was starting to think maybe life would be easier if he just didn't get them at all. Yeah. Yep. Which you really don't get because Omni-Man seems like super cool with his powers. Like, yeah. you know, it's like part of his heritage or whatever, like to have these abilities. And right. He's he's kind of been like, there's like little glimpses of like him being weird about this. Yeah. You're not really sure why. Yeah, exactly. And so the next day, uh, Mark fights off this super villain that's robbing a bank. Yeah. Maybe not super villain, just a villain that's robbing a bank with two other guys. Yeah, the man's covered in rock. Yeah. Yeah. And so Mark gets knocked around a little bit, but he ends up getting the upper hand and knocks this guy out. Mm-hmm. The other two apparently get away with the money. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just they get away. Like, yeah. No big deal. Um, but then his dad shows up and they go flying and he's begging his dad to hit him again. Yeah. He's like, come on, hit me. I could take it. I could take it. Like trying to prove himself. Yeah. But Omni-Man refuses, and they end up embracing before the dad takes him to a tailor who mm. makes all the super suits for superheroes. Yeah. Yep. But he's like, you need a name first. So Mark's, yeah, yeah. Mark's going to think about That'll that. That'll help you come up with a costume if you have the name down. Uh, then he's practicing landing in the yard late at night. He's just like blowing <laughs> yeah, holes into the yeah. yard. Just blowing holes. Funny. Yeah, giant holes. <laughs> and the mom says, like, it's it's the middle of the night. You need to go inside and go to bed. I'm like, yeah. stop blowing holes in my yard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he gets all tough and he goes, make me. Yeah. yeah. And so the mom's like, does that make you feel strong yeah and so like they had this yeah, i mean yeah yeah that was yeah. weird <laughs> that just that felt like it came out of like nowhere yeah like he wasn't like i don't know him saying that just felt weird like out of nowhere he just got really aggressive like he wasn't like an angsty teen the whole episode yeah he just like out of nowhere was like whoa this is kind of creepy <laughs> which maybe there's a reason why yeah maybe his powers like come with some negative side effects but mm. but they have a little heart to heart yeah. And the mom's yeah. worried, like, hey, it's always been me and you, and your dad was off. Now it's going to be you and your dad, and I'm going to be here alone. Yeah. It was a nice little moment between the two of them. The next day, the dad is giving him another talk and says, you know, kids your age think they're invincible, and it holds them back. Mm. But you really are invincible. Yeah. And he, like, gets an epiphany. Cue some pop music with him flying around in his new suit. Yeah, I that, like, like that. Kind of looks like an eye, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what a terrible superhero name, though, of Invincible. <laughs> Invincible. Like, it's terrible. <laughs> so bad. I kind of like it in the in the sense that it's, like, different. It's not like, I'm Invincible, man. He's like, I'm Invincible. Yeah. It's kind of... Uh, That's there's cool. Some, yeah. There's something interesting about that. And he beats the hell out of this villain with a laser arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And there's says, so many villains. <laughs> and they even make th- a joke about it at some point. Th- oh, did they? The, the mom does. Like, oh, yeah, your dad's off fighting oh, these yeah. guys now. Next week, it'll be these guys. Yeah, yeah they, they rebuild the White House, like... You know, he's talking about, like, the kids talk about, like, the dad's, like, saving the White House. She's like, yeah, whatever. They rebuild it, like, every, like, twice a year. Yeah, she's like, I don't even think the president lives there anymore. Yeah. 
Because, yeah, why would you if, like, all the supervillains know you're there and want to kill you? Yeah. And so he's got the laser arm guy on the ground. He goes, you might as well give up. I'm... And then the title card, Invincible. Yeah. And, like, a quick credit. Mm -hmm. And then the next scene. What if the lazy arm guy just shot him, like, in the chest and he was like, oh, shit. I'm not invincible. Oh, no. <laughs> lasers, my only weakness. No. <laughs> Freaking lasers. There was a few times I thought the kid was going to die. Because uh, up until this point, it felt very slow. Yeah. Like, All right, something's got to happen. I'm like, what if they just kill this kid? Like, when he crashes, <laughs> he dies or something, and then it's something crazy? Because I didn't see any of the previews, so I didn't know how much this kid was going to be involved. So the show continues, and I was like, "All right, there's gonna be a little little post credit yeah, scene, yeah, like mid, mid credit scene." And we get a little montage of the Guardians of the Globe all doing their thing. Mm. I love when the one guy's like, "When in doubt, throw him into space." And he just <laughs> throws the villain into space. Oh yeah, just kills him. Just oh, there you go. And they're all called to their headquarters, which is like in the side of a mountain. Yeah. And they're all standing around, like confused about who called them all. Mm -hmm. When suddenly Red Rush senses something, and he like pushes one of his allies out of the way, just as Omni Man shows up, like throwing a punch from behind them. Yeah. Yep. And then Omni Man proceeds to brutally murder every yeah. single one of them. Yeah. It I, smashes Red Rush, like squeezes Red Rush's head until yeah. like his thing, and like Red Rush is like punching him in the chest so much that his hands are breaking. Yeah. Like it was brutal. Yeah, Omni Man's like shirt is like getting torn because Red Rush is punching him so fast and so often. And he's, you know, shirt is like getting torn and he's getting like bruised chest, but he's just still like squeezing his head. And so at first I thought, you know, when he first starts attacking them, I'm like, okay, is he kind of like their boss? And he's like keeping them on their toes, like training them, like, aha, like, because <laughs> oh. like he doesn't like hit anyone for a little, like a little, like a few minutes. He doesn't really like, hit anyone. So I'm like, oh, is this like a test? Is he just fucking around with them? And then he, yeah, he takes Red Rush, like the Flash guy and just literally squeezes his head. Yeah. And it's getting like worse and worse. You're like, oh shit, no, he's going to try to kill him. And then he just, his eye pops out and then he squishes the guy's head. Yeah. And like the rest of like the Guardians of the Globe are like, what the hell are you doing? Like at first, before he kill, like completely kills Red Rush, they're like, they're not sure what's going on. Yet. Right, right. Yeah. And then like his head just explodes and they're like, oh shit. Yep. Yeah. And then he proceeds to like kill the fish man like right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, he like punches through their chests and snaps their necks and everything. Yeah. <sighs> this is my only complaint, but it really fucking annoyed me. There are seven of them there. Yeah. These are like the greatest superheroes. And I hate this lazy shit in like action shows or any kind of like com combat scenes. Yeah. He's fighting them like one on one. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are the other ones doing? Yeah. Like, it, slowly he like whittled them down. And then like at one point it was three on one. But like for a while there was like five to ten seconds of him fighting one superhero. And the other ones were standing around. Yeah. Like, yeah. What are you there, doing? There was a lot where it costs a lot to animate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're they, they probably should have been able to take him. Or, like, it would have been way harder to, like, kill them all. Right, Like, right. The, other than, like, the, the five-minute fight scene that was. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, it was it was fine. Um, yeah. Because my, my complaint before that, which this resolved, but then, you know, it ended up being kind of silly that they weren't all fighting together. Yeah. Was that all the conflicts were resolved so quickly mm -hmm. in the show. Like, every single time you had a conflict with the dad, like... Five seconds later, they resolved it and hugged. He had a yeah, conflict yeah. with the mom. Five seconds later, they, they embraced him. Like, all right, we need, like, something. Yeah. But then this scene happened. I was like, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah all right. right. Well, here we go. Some serious shit is going down. Yeah. Um, yeah, we needed, like, something to show how much... Because, you know, he basically has the same powers as, like, some of the other people. Like, flying, super strength, you know, basically invincibility. Right. So we needed, like, some show, like, earlier on that shows, like, oh, no, he is way more powerful than them. Yep. Yeah. Because, yeah. like... He's like superhero, but then, you know, like the Wolverine looking guy was basically also Superman. Yep. He just couldn't fly. He could just jump really high. Right. So I was like, okay, I'm not really getting the sense that he is so much more powerful. Yeah. I, I got the sense that he was the most powerful. Yeah. Like that he was like a loner, like not working with them necessarily. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the fact that he just brutally killed all seven of them. Yeah. Within the span of like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super quickly. Oh, uh, yeah. That was crazy. So yeah. He kills whoever the last one he kills was, and then he, I think he snaps uh, War Woman's neck. Yeah, he snaps her neck, and then the the Wolverine looking guy is like on his knees, like with the, like a big hole in his chest, and then he just goes and like karate chops his neck. Yeah, he karate like, chopped his head off. Completely severs yeah. his head. Like, yeah. he goes, why? Yeah. And Omni Man doesn't answer. He just chops nope. his head off. But then Omni Man collapses from yeah. exhaustion. Yeah. And that was the pilot. Yeah. To yeah. Invincible. What did you guys think? I so. The beginning of the pilot, I was like, uh, I, like it's okay, but I wouldn't 
like I, I wouldn't go out of my way to watch this show. Yeah. In the beginning, and yeah. then the it, the final thing was the hook that hooks you in of to course. like yeah. watch the net, and that's I was like, all right, well, like now I I have to <laughs> figure out what's going on. But in the beginning, I was like, uh, it's like a generic, yeah, superhero-y show. It's like, super it's great. Like a kid show. And it did. It, it did super feel like a kid show, like, in the beginning. And I was like, it's okay, but it's not something... It, it would be a good time suck if I had nothing else going on. Yeah. And then the final thing, I was like, ooh, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're like, I got nothing to watch. This is a superhero show. I'll put it on. Who cares? Yeah. Right. But yeah, now it's like... It was crazy because it was really, like, PG... Yeah, and Before then that, that last thing, yep. except for the eye shot in the beginning, it's like super PG. Like yeah, every, yeah, even like the violence is super like toned down. Yeah, I mean like there's some explosions maybe and like punching, but yeah, no one, no humans actually get hurt. Yeah, there's no other blood shown. And then as he's like squeezing Red Rush's head and like his eye starts to like expand yeah. out of his head and pops. Yeah, I still wasn't convinced until his eye started to pop out of his head. That he wasn't just, like, doing some, like, training or fucking with them oh, or really? whatever. See, as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, he's going to kill all of them. But, but like, like I didn't expect it to be as brutal as it was still because right. the rest of the show was so yeah. PG yeah. that the, I didn't expect, like, even as his eye, like, started to pop out of his head, I was like, oh, they're not going to show it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, they showed it's it. It's such this a drastic, great. like, turn from, like, the, you know, the, the little, like, punching and, like, throwing the guys into space to kill them so we don't, like, see any violence. Right, or, right. It's like, boom. You know, where, like, an explosion happens and, it, like, it cuts to something else. And you're like, okay, we can assume they, they're dead or something. But, yeah. Right. This right. ending was crazy. Um, yeah, I, I pretty much have the same sentiment as Mike is, like, if it was just the beginning before the title card, I would probably, like, eh, I'll watch it if I think about it. But I might skip it. But, yeah, the end is just, like, okay, now I need to know what happens. But I am annoyed that they kind of just... They assume, like, okay, if someone's going to watch this, they're going to keep watching it, so we can kind of make the first episode, like, really slow. <laughs> like, you know, with, like, just the way people watch TV now. Like, okay, if somebody's watching this episode, they're going to watch the whole thing, so we can take our time with this. Yeah. Um, like, just get, in, get into the action. You could have done it 20 minutes in. Yeah, I, I was fine with it. I mean, I did think it was a little slow. Yeah. I mean, obviously the end yeah, yeah. changed all that. But, I mean, as slow as it was, they did introduce, like, the... At least one of the big twists is that yeah, Omni Man, yeah. this superhero, and this guy's dad is a fucking psychopathic killer. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I hope that his motivations are intriguing and complex. Yeah, not just like oh, people from that planet are actually evil. Some yeah, something like that or like crap like that. Oh, he he wants to be the only one. His ego is so big. He wants to be the only yeah. superhero, and he, that that's why he didn't want Mark to have powers. Oh, I hope there's like yeah. something. I mean, maybe that would be interesting. I should be a writer for this show. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it would be interesting if now he's got to like, but but then you would kind of want the setup of like the superheroes have around the world have been dying. You you would kind of want that. Yeah, like, like sure. they've been mysteriously oh, yeah, dying. They've been they've been mysteriously dying over the past few years, and then oh no, now do I have to kill my own son? Like that would right, kind of be right. interesting. But I, we didn't we didn't see that. Yeah, but I mean they set it up that these guardians of the globe were like the big yeah. superheroes. It was them and Omni Man. I, I think there's going to be more superheroes introduced. Yeah, yeah, there's got to um, be right. Yeah, because I don't think uh, Jillian Jacobs' character was introduced yet. I think she's mm. a superhero, a, young, a younger female superhero. Yeah. Um, that, that is one of my complaints, though, is just, like, the powers. They, it felt very lazy. I guess maybe it's because they were going to kill them all off. So, like... I think so. Let's not give our best powers right now. But, you know, it was, like, <laughs> super strength, super speed, you know, um, phasing through stuff, like... Yeah. Yeah. The Fishman was very cool, though. Yeah, I mean, if you're doing a world with a ton of superheroes and supervillains, like... You're going to reuse a bunch of powers. Yeah, and, yeah. and at least the Guardians, to me, felt a little tongue-in-cheek. Like, clearly they're modeled after all yeah, these superheroes. 100% you know. the Justice League. I, yeah, I loved yeah. when uh, Red Rush's girlfriend, like, in the montage of, like, everybody getting called to, like, their, their headquarters. <laughs> yeah. And she's, like, talking to him. And she's talking to him about that, how he has to be nicer and be friends with oh, the yeah. fish man. Because <laughs> yeah. he's literally just a fish man. Yeah. And, <laughs> like, and then they cut to, like, him. And he's just, like, sitting on a throne, like, with no one around <laughs> yeah yeah he's very yeah because yeah, he's got like, this big like kingdom looking thing I'm like oh is there gonna be like more fishmen and he's like no it's just him sitting alone <laughs> in this like throne he must have built or something there was know. some fun stuff uh, yeah I was I was a little bummed that they just killed them all off because there was some fun stuff with them like yeah uh 
Red Rush had some like cool action scenes, mm. and then when he's sitting with his girlfriend, he's like, "You don't understand." I, I think it was like French or something. Yeah, something like it was that. Russian. Yeah. Yeah, it Russian? could be Russian. Yeah, Red Rush. Russian. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but he's like, uh, she's complaining that he he's never listening. He's like, "You don't understand. You talking for a couple minutes is like hours to yeah, me. It's, it's like, painful. It's <laughs> agony." Yeah. <laughs> And then he quickly tries to recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, except for you. Everything you say is uh, is beautiful. And yeah. I hang on every word. Yeah, because they're, they're talking and he like, you know, he pops away real quick to tie up his supervillain and pops back. Yeah. But he's just wearing his suit but still. He forgets, and yeah, she's he like, what the suit. hell? He's like, oh, crap. And he like quickly changes. He's like. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought the voice acting was great, obviously. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, even the action stuff, even though it felt PG early on, like there was some cool stuff. Like the last scene where Mark is like punching some villain down the street. Mm. And it's like moving super fast and you're just in focus on the villain and he's like catching up with the villain and just like keeps yeah. punching him, punching yeah. him. The, yeah. the later action scenes, even before like the brutal murders were pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The early ones, I'm like, oh, this is corny. Not corny, but yeah, but kind of corny. Yeah. But yeah, the, with the with Mark, it's definitely more fun. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm going to continue watching. Yeah. Like I said, I, I hope Omnivan has, has some cool motivations mm. and ends up being like a complex villain. Yeah. And... I hope that some of the new superheroes have more interesting powers, like like you were yeah, kind of yeah. alluding to. Yeah. Um, because Omni Man and Invincible are both just flying Superman. Yeah. Yep, basically. Yeah, they're just yeah, they're just Supermans. Yeah, I uh, I tried to hold out, and then I watched the <laughs> the second episode. You son of a bitch! I, I watched you the second this episode every time. <laughs> and uh, how could you? So one rule we have here. Well, we have two. Watch the pilot and that's it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, the two rules. that's the two rules. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to watch this when I go home because, you know, it's... I was going to say it's light, but now it's not as light. But even the... I don't yeah. know. It, just the, the visuals of the cartoon sure. are very light. So it's like, eh, whatever. He's like smashing a guy's head and it's fine. It's fun. It's, you know, it's it's like this cute little cartoon. <laughs> just the way it I looks. I like the bright it's, colors. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> colors kind of shiny things funny I like noises the, yeah i like the bright colors and the funny noises i did actually i liked a lot of really little things like the dad's talking to him about flying and he's like you know it, it feels counterintuitive to like slow down while you're flying like re- relax your muscles while you're flying yeah he's like you know it's like pee, like making yourself pee your pants like, <laughs> yeah. and the kid's like you make yourself pee your pants yeah. and he just yeah. doesn't mention it yeah anymore. he's like you spend your whole life like trying not to pee your pants so if you like had to pee your pants it would feel <laughs> weird and it's kind of the same thing as like to relax your muscles while you're flying yeah and then like i don't know even just like when he right before mark discovers he has powers he's like throwing stuff in the garbage and he opens the the dumpster lid and it like goes up halfway and it falls back down. <laughs> yeah. This just, that feels so real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you've ever thrown something out in a dumpster, you throw up the lid, it goes up, and then it smashes back down. Yeah, I'm totally. Like, All right, they, they're paying attention to stuff. <laughs> they, they care about what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, totally. I kind of like the weekly release thing, because sure. I, I personally rarely have time to, like, sit down and binge three shows. Mm. Yeah. And so I don't have to. I have no choice. I have to wait for the next one. Yeah. And so, you know, I'll probably watch this, like one episode every Friday when it comes out or on a Monday yeah, or yeah. something. Um, I kind of enjoyed it with WandaVision, like the anticipation of waiting for the next episode. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's rare these days. I mean, most most yeah. of the shows I watch are streaming on fucking Netflix or Hulu. Yeah, I get that. But I'm also like, I have to go back every week. I have to do this again. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, jeez. Like, let me just sit down two times and watch all eight episodes or whatever. I like, just want to be done with this. Say, four episodes tomorrow. I'll be done with it. If it, was, if it was 22 minutes, I would agree with you. Yeah. But it's not like tw- 22 minutes is so fast and you have to wait a week. This yeah. is like almost a full hour. Yeah, that's So true. it feels like a little it's bit like more It's like watching substantive. eight hours of Justice League. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the new Justice League cut? I have not. I don't think I have any interest. Don't. Don't okay. do it. We, okay. did, we, it. We, we did it for. Uh, uh, yeah. When, when yeah. is that episode coming out? Um, we we're, gotta, we're we're ready to release it. We just have to. Yeah, we got to make a YouTube channel. We got to get our shit together. Put it, and put it up on the I, YouTube channel. I really don't care about any of the DC movies. I I saw Man of Steel. I think when it came out and hated yeah. it. Um, and so I've never bothered catching up with any of the other ones. You'll and find then, it like, very corny. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, it's not good. The Red Letter Media review. Was, yeah, they, you know, they said it was better than the theatrical cut. Yeah, but that's not hard. I mean, right. you could, but I heard that you was could, terrible. Well, so when Mike and I recorded, I was like, I was saying like, no, no, I think this cut is worse. Like the new cut is like worse with technical stuff. Like I had like, mm. I'm like, it's not as good. And then I watched the Red Letter Media review, and I realized I don't think I've seen Justice League before. 
<laughs> so you, so you went into thinking, the Schneider cut with no yeah, uh, previous. You were second. comparing it to nothing. I definitely, yeah, had, just, I definitely had seen like a few minutes of it, like clips here and there. But I'm like, oh, I don't remember any of this stuff. You were comparing it to not having ever seen it, which was better than having seen yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. what, I must have compared it to like some other movie. I just, uh, it was so bad. Um, so. Would you guys all recommend? Yeah, if you Invincible? like superhero stuff, yeah, yeah, give check it, a it shot. out. It's if you fun. have a, if you have an hour, you like superhero stuff, ch- check it out for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, at this point, I think we've all seen a bunch of superhero content that is like the atypical. Like, it's not really atypical anymore. No, like with antiheroes and whatever else, it's it's been done. But this feels cool that like his dad is is potentially the supervillain. Yeah, I I hope they flesh it out and it ends up being as interesting as it could be mm. um, but I would recommend it yeah it's weird because it's like a mix between like the the cartoon uh, shows that we grew up like watching and then like the end does like oh this is like the boys yeah like, yes. like it's that. like a mix of like the boys and like super light hearted superhero cartoon action yeah. yeah I was definitely getting some boys vibes Omni-Man definitely is giving off some Homelander yeah, feels. yeah. definitely um do you guys think Invincible will get a second season on Amazon Prime? Oh, Definitely. yeah, because Amazon will give anything multiple seasons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so It's yeah. probably already been renewed. It's, it's yeah. probably been renewed for the next five years that they <laughs> yeah. have five, five seasons of it. Cause... Yeah, it's you know it's a cartoon. It's, it's probably not super expensive to animate that. Um, you know, they probably pay a little bit for the voice actors, but I'm sure it's getting enough viewers because everyone likes superhero shit. Not everyone, but... You know, like Liz doesn't, but a lot of people like superhero shit. No, but superhero and, shit's the zombie stuff from five yeah. years ago that and everybody even, loves superhero stuff now. Yeah. Even people are getting more, like, okay with, like, adults watching cartoons. Like, it's kind of more like, oh, yeah, it's it's an animated show. And right. Okay, it right. doesn't matter anymore. Like, it used to, you know, ten years ago. Like, animated show, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I think it'll it'll have plenty of viewers. Cool. Uh, any other thoughts on the show? Mm, no. Nah. No, good, that was it. Good. Just want to see a Seance dog show soon. Well, a little upset that Seth Rogen does a voice on the show. Oh, does he? Because I hate Seth Rogen. But was he the alien that was already killed? No. No, mm. he's he's in a later episode. Another kind of alien? Yeah. Yeah, he's another okay. kind of alien. Yeah. <laughs> is he is he Paul from Paul? Uh, no. But <laughs> That <laughs> alien movie that played an alien? Paul Blart. <laughs> Paul no. Blart World Cup. Two. Paul Blart, Blart Harder. Blart Harder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, everybody. If you have suggestions on shows for us to watch, you can email us at trialbypilot at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at trialbypilot. Please go on to Apple Podcast, Stitcher, Spotify, subscribe to the show, leave a review, and tell a friend. And why don't you guys plug your other podcast? Oh, yeah. We have yeah, a Tales from the Crypt pod. No, we do not. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, podcast where we uh, take uh, either people, uh, movie stars or uh, celebrities or uh, other people from popular media mm-hmm. and turn them into D&D characters. Uh, yeah. The name of the show is D&D Casting Call. Mm-hmm. Uh, not Casting Couch. That would be a and d porno uh, <laughs> podcast. Uh, that you guys also host. That we also yeah. host, yes. Uh, so D&D Casting Call, check us out. Uh, we are actually uh, a little peek behind the screen. We're Ooh. recording a couple episodes today. Yes, and, I, uh, I will be on the podcast for somewhere between one and ten episodes, depending on how much yeah. time we have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be. Crossover. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, everybody. See you next time. All right, thanks, Beats. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Bye. Beats. Bye. <laughs> Watching television, watching television. Watching